Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Attack on Factorio. I've been struggling to figure out what I want to do today. Um, I can't remember if there was anything that really needed doing, like kind of imperatively at the end of the last episode. Um, oh, I've still got my FPS counter on. I don't need you, you can go away. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think things for the most part are going okay. I mean... Turing Sands is doing all right. Is is pumping out a fair number of circuits now, which is fucking lovely. And a lot of these miners have already run out. Maybe we should go and replace those. Let's go. Let's go and fix that to start with. Um, do I have a car around anywhere? I've I've probably left it somewhere ridiculous. Oh, it's down by the scrap heap. Okay, I'll be down there in a minute. Ah, oh, jeez, why did I open you? That's a terrifying sight. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay, I'm going to sort out Turing Sands, we're going to sort out these miners, we're going to relay them, and just tidy things up a little bit. Uh, did I, did I put a new, I did put a new gate in. Good. Schwing! Lovely. And now what's the issue? Oh, we're out of, uh, we're out of iron. Okay, yeah, I do, I do think that I'm going to have to overhaul quite a lot of the, uh, the train networks. Um, but for now we can just tidy up a lot of this, and probably relay... Well, I'll relay these miners further along, just to clear out as much of the stuff as possible. So, let's get some more belt. Just going over this way. And maybe a little more going over this way. Right, that should do for now. That's certainly helping things, and when iron's coming in, it is filling out the belts beautifully. So, we are getting a nice chunk of uh, green circuits being produced. Um, I mean, if anything, we could, well, I was going to say we could maybe open up these chests, but we are struggling with iron enough as it is, so probably not the best idea. Um, but what do I, what do I don't want to do from here? I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to do something. Oh, I was going to put gates in here. That's what I was going to do. Just to, just to kind of finish the, hello, <laughs> just to finish the effect on the walls. Um, but my, my kind of big ish plan, if, if you want to call it a plan, was I wanted to go over to Erlenmeyer. I want to redo the way that we're making research, because at the, I, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be a strategy that will improve things in the long run, and it might do things in the short run, because um, I think we were in the process of setting up uh, gold science, weren't we? And I just hadn't finished sorting out all of the unloading, or all of the requesters and everything as well. Um, and yes, I hadn't even set up the the production for uh, the copper cable. That's that's the thing that we need. So we need processing units. We need uh, modules, and we need batteries. Is there a train that is bringing all that stuff in? Are you the one I'm after? You look like the one I'm after. But basically, what I want to do is I want to stop all of this nonsense, and I want to bring in raw materials. And I just want to set things up so that the entire district is crafting the science packs and all of the components that go into the science packs, with the exception of things that are produced specifically in other places. Like, basically, all of the things that Atelier is producing, I want to have the... Um, I want to keep Atelier as a district that is just to supply me. It's just to provide me with all of the materials that I need for building districts. Because every time I go up there, it's completely devoid of stuff. Uh, of all of the, the useful stuff, anyway. So what I want to do is I just want to bring in all of the raw components. Um, electric engines we might have to ship in via train, but that's not a problem. In fact, both the engine types we'll just bring in, because we're not using a lot of them. Like, they, they can just be brought in because they are here in a surplus. It's things like assembling machines, uh, the electric mining drills, and then we'll be making copper cable here for, for this setup. But other than that, I think I just want to have everything else produced on site. So we're going to set up some nice little... Let me just check all my defences. I think they're doing okay over there. Uh, we're going to set up some nice little uh, assembling pack, uh, lines. I'm just going to get through here and remove some miners that we no longer need. Uh, bots, why don't you handle this stuff for me? 
Uh, there's a good lad. Right, there we go. That's got all of this iron sorted. So all of these mine, or all of both of these iron patches now, or what was one iron patch, I think, is now completely covered, which I am rather pleased with. I'm gonna replace some turrets because I had to move a couple. Box, get out there, just do things for me. I don't care if it looks neat and tidy. This is a temporary uh, annex onto this district. Right. Um, why is rocket damage one? Oh, I don't have military science. That would be why. Hmm. Right, well, to start with, I am going to tear up all of this. So, bots, just get busy. Drain my battery as much as you can. Re really appreciate that. Right, there we go. Clean slate. And why are these bots just sitting around? He's a logistics box. Oh, right. Because they were trying to provide supplies to the chests, and I took the chests away. Sorry, bots. Better luck next time. Okay, well, I've got a load of stuff now. Which is nice. <laughs> okay, so what was the ratio that we were going with down in R&D? Uh, we had... Hmm. Eight to eight. Those numbers are way off. Should have another one on there and another two on this one. Um, okay, so we're going to go for one every half second. We're probably not going to manage that. But let's get some assembling machines down. And we're going to start off with Science Pack 3, I guess. It's kind of what we started with. Yeah. Okay, Science Pack 3 it is. So we need... 24 of these. Ooh. Okay, well that's 12 just to start with. This is gonna be a big old bus. And my main reason for doing things this way at the moment... I don't want a stack insert, I just want a regular one. Do I have any regular ones? I don't. Why do I not have regular inserters? I should really have some. Hmm. I'm gonna run down to, uh... Uh... Can I, can I please just get myself out of this mess. I think I want to start trying to use the correct inserters for each assembler's, uh, assembly machine as well, just so that we can kind of conserve on power a little bit, because the faster inserters do use more electricity. And with our defenses being all laser-based, we need as much uh, power as we can possibly get. So I think switching over a lot of the... Uh, inserter setups to the correct ones. Like if, if they don't need to go like quicker than like... Oh. It would help if I probably set up some sort of storage for regular inserters, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, I'll just set a stack of... Two, or a couple of stacks there. Wait for those to get made and... If I unlock the... I haven't unlocked the next tier of uh, belts or anything. I still haven't put st chest storage here. I probably don't need it. It's probably fine. Uh, not enough network storage. In District 14, why do we need network storage? Oh, for things like plastic. Yes. No, that makes sense. Right, I am back with 200 regular inserters. I'm going to take myself away from Erlenmeyer for the moment. I just want to kind of get outside of the district so I can start putting this... Uh, start planning out this assembly. That there is 24... Oh, fucking bollocks. <laughs> right, so we want blue science packs in this. So we're just going to copy this over. And then we need to figure out what stuff we need. So, blue science packs. We need advanced circuits, engine units, and electric mining drills. So advanced circuits and engine units, I'm just going to bring in on a train which is going to be fine. So they can just go on a line up here, and we'll just kind of split it along here. And then we want... Um, how, how do I want to work this? Where do I, I want to bring them in like, along this way, so... Let's do something like this. There we go. 
and now we just need to put in the other inserters. And again, we're only going to need uh, these to be like the kind of bare minimum on inserters. And thank you, bots, for doing all this generous work for me. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Right. So that will be our blue science assembly. It's going to be big. Uh, so I'll be bringing in the red... We're bringing in red circuits and, um, what are the other ones? Engine units on this line. And then we need electronic mining drills, which need electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and iron plates. Now, if I remember right, to get one every half a second, we're going to need... How was the, uh, the rather cool way of setting this up? So, start off, output is going to go there. You're just going to sink in there, and you'll split off and go off. Go off on your separate ways. So, I'll bring you up like that. And I think it's we want one of these, and then five of these. So, I think, if I remember right, we want something like this. And this should do the trick. So we're going to have iron coming up on this line. And then we'll have gear, uh, green circuits coming up on this line. And that should work out okay. I reckon. I'm reckoning so. Uh, although we're probably going to need a lot of iron. A hell of a lot more iron than we, we're going to get from this. And that should do for blue science. So I'm going to make a blueprint of that. I'm going to get a new blueprint book. I'm going to start a new book. Everybody get reading. So this will just be, for now, uh, AOF Blue Science. There we go. AOF Blue Science. Fantastic. So that's one down. Let the bots disassemble everything, and we'll build the next one. And then we're going to start figuring out how to put everything together. Which is going to be the... It's going to be the real interesting thing. And then we've got to figure out the logistics of getting all the materials we need. Oof. I may be asking a lot of the Citadel for this project. So next on the list is military science packs. And two of these items... Or two out of three items... Like with, uh... Well... Yeah, two of three are currently being built down in Hollowpoint. Well, actually, no, the piercing rounds aren't, because they need to have regular rounds chucked into the uh, construction process. Hmm. Forgot about that. But we only need uh, ten of these. So that should be about right. That's one, two, three, four. Yep, that's ten. Good. And these are crafted, yeah, every 10 seconds. They need one of each thing. So we'll just do a similar thing to what we did. We're just going to have two belts feeding in. And we'll have the uh, long-handed to reach over onto the second belt. And I guess this first one can be, like, piercing rounds and turrets. And then this second row can be gra uh, grenades. So... To that effect, am I going to want to bring in uh, grenades? Am I? I haven't got the district set up for them because they were going to be built in. Actually, no. Am I? Have I? Have I? I haven't set that up here, have I? No, I haven't. And I don't think I've actually got that set up anywhere. I think that was a future plan for the heavy weapons district, which has yet to be built. So I guess we'll probably just bring in coal and, um, iron. I guess that'll be what I do. So we'll just bring in... This district is going to be consuming a lot of iron. That is for sure. And yeah, we need 16 of these to produce every half second. Which is a lot. That's going to be a lot of coal and a lot of uh, iron being consumed. So what do you need the most of? You need coal the most. 
and hmm. I would go with a stack inserter, but you don't produce fast enough for that. For that, so we're going to go with a fast inserter. You don't warrant having uh, ridiculous throughput because you're not going to need it. And then long handed for the iron. Oop. Ah, oh, god damn it! Come here. I should probably just blueprint this thing, this stuff, and get the bots to do it all for me. That's what I should do, but I don't, do I? No. I guess there's something to be said of still enjoying to build things by hand. At times. <laughs> right, okay. So that is a basic setup for our military science. So we'll save that, we'll add that to the book. And we'll dismantle this one. Not that tree. I don't want that tree. It's a nice tree, but I don't want it. What I do want is better robo-ports. I want more bots. These ones are... While, they, while they're good at what they do, they're A, not doing it quick enough, and they could use some extra help. Now, next on the list is production science packs. So, these are going to get a lot more in the way of, uh, kind of, on-site assembly. Uh, the electric engine units can come in from uh, the scrap heap or fracture, wherever they're currently being produced. The other two I will be assembling on site. So, how many assemblers do I need? 28. Good God. Right, there we go. That is our 28 uh, assemblers producing purple science. These belts are going a little bit too far, actually, so let's tidy those up. And what do we need for the various intermediate products? We need assembling machines, and we need electric furnaces. So, assembling machines are going to be fairly easy. They take half a second to craft, so one machine producing assembling machines is going to support this entire network. Uh, electric engine for, or electric furnaces, we're going to need ten machines. So, I'm going to sort that one out first. And they need... Stone brick, steel, and advanced circuits. Right. Good job we're going to be bringing advanced circuits into the into this district anyway. And then we'll have fast inserters on these. They should be enough to manage the uh, input needs of these assemblers. We'll have that. We'll have probably either stone brick or steel will be going on this inner belt. And then advanced circuits and steel or stone brick will go on the other one. They'll output onto this belt, which can come down here, and can probably merge with one coming along this way from a another assembling machine, which should be bringing out or pumping out assembling machines. <laughs> An assembling machine assembler, and you need at most you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need an iron gear wheel assembler as well. No, you're going to need five iron gear wheel assemblers. Okay. So we'll, we'll change this up a bit. And we'll have things like that. I know I haven't put power poles in the last few of these, but that's not too much of a bother, I think. Um, and yeah, you can go along this way. How far will you stretch? Oh, you could probably just go like that. Uh, now, we'll, we'll neaten this up. We'll neaten this up. We'll do it nicely. Um, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just redoing everything I've already done. You yeah, know, just do it like that. And then... Whatever else needs to come in. Which I think is being produced off-site. Yeah, it's the electric engines. They can just go in on this line here. And depending on the orientation of all of this stuff, I will change around the directions of all the belts. But this is just to kind of give an idea of what we're going to be doing. And give me an idea of, of how I want to restructure all of this stuff. So this is going to be AOF Purple Science, or Production Science. Go in here with all the others. We've got one last one to do, the high-tech science. So let's get that done. Right. The final science pack that we can build in assembling machines, the high-tech science pack. We need another 28 machines. Now, the throughput that we're going to get on this one is going to be pretty damn poor, I reckon. 
just because of the amount of stuff that we need. Because we need high tech sci uh we need four items on this one. We need one battery and one speed module each. That's fine. Processing units going to be a little tougher and 30 copper cable is going to be fine, but making sure we get the throughput is going to be ridiculous. So we are going to need stack inserters for these ones. And then I want uh, one there and there, and then we're going to have something similar to what we've done with um, the assemb um, not the oh, was it the advanced circuits? That's the stuff. Um, so we're going to have additional longer handled inserters that are going to be jutted out, and we're going to have underground belts providing various other supplies. So we're going to have. Something that's going to look a little something like this. And it's going to look a bit weird, a bit, bit gargantuan, and I've also realised I'm doing these belts the wrong way. Okay. Mm <laughs> Mostly just because I'm trying to get the lay of uh, the setup. There we go. That's kind of got all the belts and stuff in place. Now we need to figure out how we're going to do everything else. So we need, well, pretty much the only thing we need to worry about is the production of the uh, cables. So we need 30 every half a second. These produce two every half a second. So we need 15 assembling machines that are going to be producing copper cable. There we go. Let's get the whole row done, and the throughput needed on this one is going to be insane. We are going to have to have blue belts to be able to get all of these machines supplied with enough copper cable to get everything. But for now, we'll, we'll struggle on, we'll soldier on, and we'll, we'll just let things happen as they please. Why, why do I need you? I don't need you. Please go away. <laughs> uh, you can go over that way. You can go up and in there. Awesome. Right. That will just about do it for a basic setup. I haven't put the inserters on, on all of this. Ah, oh, god damn. Remember some of these things one day. One day. I keep telling myself one day. Fuck knows if it'll ever happen. And there we go, that'll do it. Right, let's blueprint this bitch. Well, we have the blueprints necessary for getting the rest of this stuff put together. Now all we need to do is we want to f we need to figure out how we want to lay things out. We don't really have the space on the, the left-hand side of Erlenmeyer anymore for all of this, because these these areas have become... Well, we, we might be able to get a couple, depending on how we orient them. So we could maybe have some on one side, some on the other, and we could potentially have this, uh, have this district as our, um, the site of our rocket silo when we eventually get around to launching rockets because rockets are the necessary component for getting the final science pack which is uh, the white science, space science packs. Basically you have to launch a rocket into space with a satellite in it and you get a thousand science packs for that. And that's used for doing all of the infinite researches, all of these ones that require, you know, ridiculous numbers. But go on, go on forever, and those numbers get exponentially more ridiculous. But it does mean we can, like, ramp up our robot production, or robot worker speed, and uh, weapon damage, and uh, there's, there's some other stuff as well. The mining productivity goes on forever. So there's, there's things we can be doing. And... I have kind of run out, I've got about 10 minutes left. I don't think I've got enough time to actually get started on anything as far as construction goes. But what I do want to do, because I want to build a lot of this stuff via bots, so I'm going to go and see if I can gather enough resources to get myself improved roboports. So we're going to take a quick drive, quick drive over to Quantum. We're going to see if there are any processing units that we can grab. I'm hoping there are. There should be. Bloody well better be. 
I also need to improve the uh, the actual batteries that I've got inside my uh, power suit. So we need plenty more in the way of processing units. And it looks like we've got a fair few built up, which is good. Uh, we've got a little bit of supply over this way. We'll just clear these belts. Om nom 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 nom. Thank you. Although I do need things like steel, and I don't actually have the better roboports researched. I need the productions or the high-tech science packs in order to research that. Oh, they need a fucking hundred ro uh, processing units each anyway. Ugh. Knackers. That's a lot. But I'm going to drain these belts out of their processing units as well because I can definitely use them. Even if it's just to build another portable fusion reactor. Which I can now do. But it's nice to see that production up here in Quantum has grown a little, or is going a little bit better. I mean, green circuit supply is still pretty small, and pretty slow. But it's certainly enough to keep things going. And that's really what I want right now. Uh, but you are going to go in here. And eventually we will get around to having a secondary power suit. Um, although I've probably got the modules for it. Thinking about it. Why why are you still making a fuckload of these? Why have I got 32? Uh, I guess I did request a hundred or request it to do a hundred. Maybe you should just stop at like ten. Mate. You know, if you could, that'd be nice. So I've definitely got the uh, the modules and stuff now for making another power suit. So let's go back to I think I left my I left all my steel and stuff up in Erlenmeyer, so let's go and sort that out. Yeah, some steel. I'm completely full of stuff now. <laughs> Whoops. Um, let me just dump some of this additional stuff that I don't need. Uh, another power armor Mark II. Yes. Give it to me, son. Yes, I could take these batteries out. And I can use them to make another battery Mark II. What am I missing for more of this? Probably more steel, I reckon. Mm, yep. That's going to be it. But okay, we are getting on with things. We've got a second power suit now, which is fucking lovely. So I'm going to take out one of those. I'm going to take out... Uh, well, I should probably make another night vision as well. And I guess I can make another couple of robo ports. Even if they're just the, the level one uh, robo ports, they are going to be something. So I'll plug those in. So we're going to have one combat suit, we're going to have one construction suit, which I think is bloody awesome. Um, I've been really looking forward for this moment. But I think what I might do between episodes, uh, like off-camera and stuff, I will go about getting the resources necessary to finish up this suit. It's not going to have the best roboports in it, it's not going to have the ones that I really want, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But as soon as we get Erlenmeyer back up and running, we will have uh, the best roboports that we can possibly have, and we'll have a really nice robot construction suit. We'll go and get some more. I'll try and get like more fusion reactors because I want two fusion reactors in each suit. They're fucking expensive. It's a thousand processing units in all, and now we should have. Once we get the these roboports in, we will have the capacity to support uh, forty robots. Which would be a damn sight better, and we—it's—it's it's mostly just to aid in this uh, reconstruction of Erlenmeyer, uh, along with everything else that we're going to be doing. But I'm going to wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, be sure to hit that subscribe button, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meek Shield, signing off. Probably start having a go at everybody else as well. Oh god, there's a fire. Uh, yeah, madam, can you help? <laughs>